In this video, I'm going to be showing all seven of the latest LEGO Star Wars leaks of upcoming sets. Each one of these sets is absolutely stunning, so be sure to watch all the way through and let us know in the comments which one is your favorite. This is Lakin with Brick Critic, and let's get right into it. While these first two sets aren't exactly new leaks, we did recently get some more info about them, including high quality photos. The Bark Speeder Escape set comes with four minifigures, including Grogu, Keller and Beck, and two Fapo First clones. I think this is actually a very cool set, and to my knowledge, is the first actual set relating directly to Order 66. As for the features of this set, it has stud shooters and a removable pod for Grogu, which is actually really nice, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we have ever gotten a minifigure skill pod for Grogu. This next set is probably one of the top sets I'm most excited about in this upcoming wave. Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator is an absolutely insane set. It has four minifigures including the main, Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Little Anakin. But it also includes one of the most anticipated 25th anniversary minifigures yet, and that is Saw Gerrera, which it seems like LEGO really took their time with this minifigure and made it very detailed, especially on the face, torso, and shoulder pads. As for the other three minifigures, I'd say they're pretty normal and not too much to talk about with them. As for the ship itself though, it has a cockpit inside and these little explosives or probes that you can drop from the ship. It also includes the famous speeder bike that Darth Maul rode on in The Phantom Menace. This next set is a gift with purchase of $160 or more. It's a battle droid carrier with 262 pieces and will have anywhere from 6 to 8 battle droids. I'm actually really happy LEGO is starting to do more cool LEGO Star Wars gifts with purchases, and as you'll see in a bit, there's another really dope gift with purchase on this list. We will also be getting another super cool Star Wars Brickhead. This time it's Commander Cody and will be released on May 1st for $9.99 in the United States. There isn't a whole lot to say about this Brickhead as it's pretty plain, but I definitely hope they start to do more Star Wars Brickheads like this one soon. LEGO also finally decided to release another set based on the Ahsoka series. This one is the Battle on Peridia for $49.99 and it will include 5 minifigures, Ahsoka, Ezra Bridger, Thrawn, Captain Enoch, and Morgan Elsbeth. We don't have any pictures of this set yet, however I expect it to be like all the other Star Wars dual sets that LEGO has made, such as the duel on Naboo, duel on Mandalore, duel on Starkiller Base, etc. This next one is definitely the largest set on this list, and that is the UCS Jabba's Sail Barge. It comes with 3,249 pieces and will retail for $549.99. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures for this set, but I expect it to be a very large set for this price. It has 10 minifigures as well, including the characters you would expect like Jabba, Leia, C-3PO, R2-D2, etc. I really can't wait for actual pictures to surface on this set because it sounds like a good one, although it might be a while since this set won't be released until October 1st. Also, if you've been enjoying this video so far, it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment your favorite set from this list. Without further ado, the final set on this list is actually a gift with purchase for the Jabba's Sail Barge, and that is Luke's lightsaber. It has 145 pieces and will most likely be similar to the one released previously like the Luke's lightsaber gift with purchase they did when they released the UCS ATAT. I really appreciate all of you watching, and if you want to watch more, click here.